What's up guys, Dave Nader 1, 2 and 2, and it's Discussion Day. IS Discussion Day, the day where we talk about a thing so I don't have to edit a giant list video. <laughs> They're a lot of work. I do the editing myself. Earlier in the week, Amanda and I got back from our trip from Disney. That was a ton of freaking fun. Galaxy's Edge was clearly the best part. I posted a bunch of shit on Twitter, if you guys are curious about that. But because of that trip, my schedule is a lot of whack, so we're just gonna do a quick one today, I, I guess. Got to appease my YouTube algorithm overlords. And it's actually a perfect week for a discussion video because we just got announced that we're gonna be finally having real life Yu-Gi-Oh events, officially sanctioned YCSs and regionals and all that hooey are gonna start starting back up -ness. YCS Pasadena, I think is the first one. So today's discussion video is going to be talking about do you guys actually want to do that anymore just like working remotely has kind of changed everyone's paradigm as far as what it means to go to work this pandemic has also taught us that things like master duels cross duels and Yu-Gi-Oh duel links of course as well as less official things like dueling book and edo pro make playing our favorite card game a hell of a lot easier from the comfort of our own toilet <laughs> Idiot. Does the current status quo and the convenience of digital formats mean that the physical format game uh, will see a less than stellar return to glory? As with all my discussion videos, they're going to be pretty short. I'm going to give you my opinion and what I think, and then we're going to actually do any kind of real talking down in the comments below. Anyway, here's Wonder Wand. I find myself hesitant. We haven't had an official Yu-Gi-Oh event since the start of the plague. I'll take things I said that I would have thought were a joke five years ago for 400. And if going to YCSs and regionals in the past has taught me anything, during a time of an illness that is at least partially controlled by just simple proper hygiene, <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh event might be the worst place you can go. <laughs> I don't know what it is about y'all, but take a shower, man. Wash your hands. They literally had to put an official rule that you can get booted if you stink too bad. Why, what, why? And not only that, but it is a large crowded room and you can't duel six feet apart. That is too far to sit apart in order to accurately play a game of Yu-Gi-Oh. You can't see anything. Not to mention uh, your opponent is not gonna be six feet apart, but certainly the two guys, you know, cramped up next to you because that's how they always are. You can literally never even have room for your own playing mat, much less, you know, any kind of personal space between players. A Yu-Gi-Oh event is probably a great place to catch something. <laughs> Let's be real here. Not only that, uh, digital Yu-Gi-Oh is just extremely convenient. I, uh, I've done a lot of money into Duel Links, for instance, mostly for my Wednesday night streams, but even still, it's still time and an effort and a money sink, so I, I, I have a good card catalog for that. So I am, again, curious to see what the turnout for a real event would be. I do really miss playing the actual game. I find that in the last, like, two years, because I haven't really played much real Yu-Gi-Oh, my interest in the official TCG has been waning quite a bit because... I don't need to care so much because not much is happening. We have a meta, we have a, a like the best decks and the tier list, but it's all based on like locals at best and it's all wishy-washy. Like I, if memory is serving me correctly, I don't think Dragoons has had an official event while it is legal in the TCG yet. Like that's, that's how long it's been. That's, that's really strange if you really think about it. Not counting remote duels, those don't count. Everyone knows that. <laughs> I will say this, I think Konami got really, really lucky with Duel Links. That game being a mobile digital format for Yu-Gi-Oh! basically was tailor-made for a pandemic situation. Not only that, but it benefits from using the exact same card pool as real Yu-Gi-Oh! just with cards they don't want to give to the players just omitted from set lists. Being able to use hindsight to tailor your meta is probably extremely valuable because cards like Halka Fibrax that our Japanese overlords just printed one day thinking it would be a interesting addition for synchro-based strategies, not realizing that every deck and their mother will use it and it'll cause every good tuner to get stuck on the ban list. Duelings can avoid that kind of situation because they just simply don't give us that card and everything is all hunky-dory. When printing a new card for the OCG, then eventually we get imported the TCG, pretty much it's just their R&D department to determine whether or not the card is broken or not. And if they don't think of some stupid wombo combo that the player base will inevitably come up with, that card will get released, it'll break the meta, and then end up on the ban list, or in cause a bunch of other cards to end up on the ban list. It's a whole fiasco and a giant mess. Duel Links doesn't have that problem because it has the hindsight to realize that, no, I'm just gonna never give him that card because that card's bullshit. Ha <laughs> woo! So in a lot of ways, Duel Links has actually become an arguably better form of the game. It's a hell of a lot cleaner, a lot more organized, its ban list is a lot smaller, and I think it works a hell of a lot better. Why you me? I'm right. 
And with the recent edition of Pendulums, it's actually starting to feel like real modern Yu-Gi-Oh! Like, you can really play most of the decks that you want to play, other than, uh, like, the link-based strategies, I suppose. So the argument that, like, there's just no cards in the game and it's all beat down hoo-ha, long since not been true, so it is actually starting to feel like real Yu-Gi-Oh! again, just a smaller, truncated, more neat package. Duel Links is very efficient. So, moving forward, I'm actually going to be curious if that's going to turn into real Yu-Gi-Oh! I love the physical card game, and I would never want to see it go anywhere. And maybe any kind of hesitation I feel will get immediately swept under the rug once I go to an event and get the first one out of the way to prove to myself and others that it's actually just fine in order to get rid of any kind of anxieties with actually playing real yu gi mans But yes, as with all of my discussion videos, I really guys want to know what you guys think moving forward. Do you think the TCG will continue on strong with a new resurgence of play because we can actually finally go to events? Or do you think it... Do you think everyone's gotten kind of used to working from home and you know who wants to go who wants to go hang out with real people like you and make sure you join us next week for my next list video i think it's going to be a uh, top 10 under supported attribute type combos it's something that ryan came up with and he even gave me a nice little spreadsheet it's real neat it's real nice i'm like oh that's a fun idea so i think i'm gonna do that one so you know look forward to that and remember guys if you don't troll the meta who will uh i'll see you guys next time just a quick special thank you to all my supporters over on Patreon. You guys make the whole channel possible. You guys have no idea how much it means to me that you guys do that. If you guys want to be part of the Goblet Attack Force, link for the Patreon down in the description below. Well, looks like they made it through the video, but you'd still be a slacker if you didn't subscribe up there. Maybe you should check out one of these other videos. Maybe then you'd actually be a decent opponent for me.